Um, just an update on the boat. Uh, things are going a bit slow at the moment with uh, the COVID issues and all of that. We've been battling to get the epoxy and uh, various odds and ends, so it's slowed the bull down a little bit. But um, yeah, other than that, we've been sort of plodding along. Uh, we're at the filling the boat with flotation at the moment, so I'll show you where we are at. Um, so we've done all the cleating, which are these 20 by 20 reinforcing um, hardwoods, and they go all the way down the stringers. So these are the stringers here, and then we basically cleated every single compartment. We've also added these little reinforcements over the sort of larger segments. We just feel <clears throat> so the deck that goes over this is a six mil deck, and we just felt like we needed to, you know, that would have been quite a large area. And if you stood on there with six mil, probably would have bent a little bit. So we've covered or we'll reinforced that with a, another cleat that goes across there. So yeah, this is the packing of, of the pool noodles into the boat. The double layer. Um, so there's basically one one full pool noodle and one half a pool noodle in each um, of the center compartments. And then these compartments here are going to be filled with um, styrofoam that's been taped up um, with duct tape. So the reason we're going to duct tape this is so that if any fuel gets into any of the compartments, it won't eat the styrofoam. And then the pool noodle is EPP, um, so we've already tested those don't get eaten by, by fuel. So that's why we've got um, the pool noodles right, right down the center of the boat. If any fuel does get through, it'll come from the fish hatch area. If we do put any fuel canisters near, it'll go through that little port. But we've already got that plugged. Um, so yeah if if any fuel does get into the center of the boat it'll be a a small amount the other thing is we've now closed up these are completely sealed um so those have already got styrofoam inside them and then we've now glassed them closed so the next thing we need to do is we're going to start doing the foredeck and we're going to put little inspection anchor hatch in here and then this is going to be covered with a main hatch and then once we've done all the compartments with all the foam we will uh, throw the deck on top so there's been a bit of progress not a lot but uh, slowly but surely we're getting there